All right, guys, welcome back. The Mr. J Mix here, bringing you a TDM on Outpost. Um, not one of my favorite maps, but this game was special because something special happens in this game, and that's all I'm gonna say. Um, you'll have to wait until the end to see it. Uh, anyways, this was a really good gameplay I got, so you want, you're gonna want to stick around for this one. Trust me on that one. Um, and real quick, let me just clear the air. This was recorded from theater mode. I didn't have my PVR on at the time because I didn't. I was just warming up. I wasn't expecting to get um, an amazing game on my very first try. I'm not trying to be cocky or anything, but uh, it was pretty beastly. I'm not going to lie to you. So, um, so yeah, that's what the bullets are going to look like. Uh, me, I'm going to be like aiming past them and the bullets are going to be hitting. So you might be wondering what the hell is going on there. I don't know if it'll show you. Yeah, I wasn't even hitting that guy, but um, that's just theater mode. That's not me. My aim is not that bad, okay? It's, it's bad, but it's not that bad, so that's what the deal was there. Um, so anyways, yeah, on Outpost here, so far, what, what, am, what am I thinking about um, Modern Warfare 3 so far? I absolutely love it. One of my favorite Call of Duties to date so far. Um, uh, Modern Warfare 2 was a special game for me because it just, it just it was so revolutionary, just everything that it did, was, uh, minus the Commando and the new tubes. I honestly think that game would have been a perfect game if you could have subtracted those two elements from it. Um, they single-handedly ruined the game. Uh, for me, at least. For a lot of people, they enjoyed Commando and Noob Tubing, but not me. I thought it was really stupid. Um, and just, it really ruined my favorite game type, which was Domination, because people would just aim into the sky and drop mortars on B-Dom when they'd... <laughs> B-Dom would be in, like, the middle of the map, impossible to take, no cover. they just drop tubes on it throughout the entire game, so just really pissed me off, um, kind of ruined the game for me, but yeah, this game, uh, Black Ops, terrible game, by the way, that was probably my least favorite game in Call of Duty so far, I just, it was, it was so bad, oh god, in my opinion, fuck that, I'm not even gonna, no, it was a terrible game, get over it, uh, <laughs> so yeah, there's another example right there, not even shooting the guy, but, uh, whatever, by the way, the setup I'm using in this game is the UMP silenced with rapid fire. Um, in order to do that, you need to have the attachment proficiency, which allows you to have two attachments on your gun. So it's basically like Blink Pro built into the gun already. And the kill streak setup I'm using is not even kill streaks; it's um the specialist package, which allows you to have um, you get kills and it rewards you by giving you more perks instead of uh, calling in like helicopters and stuff. So that's I, I love this kill streak by this setup by the way. Um, Especially, you need to run it with hardline, and you literally, you get one kill, or cap a flag, or just defuse, plant a bomb, defuse a bomb, whatever. You just do one thing, and you instantly get your new perk because you have hardline on, because usually it takes two kills. Because the way it's set up by default is you get two kills, you earn a perk, four kills, you earn another perk, six kills, you earn another perk, and at an eight kill streak, you earn every perk in the game. Yes, every single perk in the game is unlocked at that point. So, um... With hardline, it's one, three, five, and seven, and seven for all the perks in the game instead. So, this setup is extremely effective, by the way. Um, as you will see, what's gonna happen when using this setup? I'm running out of ammo here, so I start to freak out, and I'm like, "Oh wait, I just unlocked every perk in the game, so scavenger forever." Um, and you see this guy here, giving the little the movement. I like to call this giving them the movement, and you just completely fake them out, and they have no idea where you went. Come around here. This game, I tend to stay um, away from my teammates because I unlock assassin. So once you get immunity to uh, UAVs, advanced UAVs, and all that stuff, you're you're pretty much a ghost, and that's why I tend to stay away from my teammates because they don't have silencers. So what you want to do is flank the enemy constantly. Get behind them, flank whatever. This guy on the ground here. Get out of here. Um, you want to get behind them and catch them off guard. So you really don't really have to get into any gunfights and just you, you can easily take them out. So it's no big deal there. Um, so yeah, back to Modern Warfare 3 in general, I haven't had really any big issues with the game so far. I mean, maybe UMP being a little overpowered, as you can tell in this video with Rapid Fire, uh, it drops people. It drops people fast. <laughs> um, uh, host dependency, not so much in this game. Um, if you got a 4 bar, you're good to go. 3 bars are kind of hard to deal with, but uh, other than that, it's pretty good. Um, overpowered weapons, just the UMP so far. The T95 might need to be, might need to be uh, toned down a bit. It's like I seem to never have to two burst someone. It's always a one burst to the free, like to the face, um, or just anywhere on the body. Really, just one burst every single time. It's pretty crazy. Um, uh, I think I'm level 66 in this game. This is my first uh, game of the day, by the way. Haven't played in a while. 
Uh, I had a half day today and didn't play that much, actually. I don't know why. Uh, I guess, oh, this guy here, drop shot me. Get out of here, buddy. Give him the movement. Fake behind the door. Come back around. Hit fire. Get out of here. Um, here we go. Getting the flank on these guys. Now, there's going to be a part here where there's this window over here. Hold on a second. I'm coming around the back now. Flank around the map. I'm still learning the maps, by the way. I've learned a lot of them. But, um, okay, this part right here freaked me out. Look at this. Come around the corner. See you. I'm like, oh, easy kill. Boom. What the hell happened? All right. I kind of freaked out there because I thought I was going to die. And um, here we go, get an advanced UAV. By the way, if um, if you're not the kill streak type of person, use the support kill streaks. Just they're so useful to your teammates and for everyone around you. Just I mean, it doesn't matter if you die, you get to keep going with them. It's it's such a good thing to use. And you get this guy I wasn't even shooting near him, and I still kill him. That's uh, that's theater mode for you. Don't blame that one on me. Get this guy here, drop around, come around here, hit fire this guy down. UMP is such a beast. And I know there's a guy around this corner because I saw him on the UAV before it passed away. He thought he was going to get the drop on me, I don't think so. And another thing about the specialist package, get this guy out of here. If he had knifed me, I would have cried. Because um, I would not have brought this gameplay to you guys if that had happened. Um, so yeah, another thing with the strike package, or the specialist, I keep saying strike, the specialist package, um, it, it, uh, you get like bonuses... Like, there you go, specialist bonus, plus 200. This is a really great way to rank up your weapons and your and everything. There we go, the magic's about to happen. Here it is. Bang. Boom! Yep, that just happened. My very first game of the day, I literally was not even trying to get that. Like, I just... I, I had joined a friend's session. Um, they were playing, and they didn't invite me, so I was like, alright, I'm just gonna join their session and fuck them up. So I joined their session, and this happens. I get the MOAB. I have no idea what that stands for. Um, it's basically a nuke that kills the entire enemy team while at the same time EMPing them for the rest of the game. So it takes out all of their uh, electronics and stuff, and then this just ruined the whole thing. I was like, oh my god. If I had went, like, whatever, 30-something and one, I would have just been the static. And then he just ruins it, gives me another death. And I started slitting my wrists at that time. I was like, oh god, why do you just gotta ruin me, man? What is this? But um, other than that, still a great gameplay in my opinion. Um, getting the MOE, that's my first one, by the way. And finishing off with the game winning kill cam. Amazing setup. I would suggest this if you want to get the, the Moab, M O A B, whatever you want to call it. You're pretty much invincible once you get the uh, the top specialist package deal thing where you get all the perks. It is a great setup. I, <laughs> I recommend you use this if you're trying to get those big kill streaks. Um, but uh, yeah, this has been the Mr. J Mix, and I am out. I hope you enjoyed.